Let's talk about creating momentary switches for finger drumming performances like the one you just saw. So essentially what is happening is while I press sound on a button, we hear a specific effect. And then when I let go of that button, we do not hear that effect anymore. You can try this with any pad bass or button bass controller of your choice. The MIDI fighter actually has a momentary mode, but I've disabled that. So you can use this technique with any controller. The main device we will need for this particular technique is the expression control. It's a Max for Live device. I'll type it in here in the search field. And under Max MIDI effect, we have this expression control. I'm going to drag this and drop it directly on one cell, a particular sample over here. And here's the expression control. As of right now, it's not doing anything. I'm going to add another expression control on this second jazz guitar sample here. So I have one on each of the two jazz guitar samples. So to make any of the pads create that momentary effect, we're going to make use of this velocity parameter here. So for example, this snare sound here, I want to add a delay on it. And that particular delay is going to be activated when I hold down on that jazz guitar sample. Alright, so let's load in the delay. I'll use the ping pong delay here. I'll drag this on this particular cell, which is my snare cell. And now you can hear the ping pong delay effect on the snare. Alright, that sounds cool. But I only want to hear the effect when I tap down on this button. So in order to do that, we have this expression control here. I'm going to click on map on the velocity. It's blinking. Now I'm going to head over to the effect, the ping pong effect, and click on the effect activator. So now every time I hold down that sample, you'll see the ping pong delay is on. But when I let go, the delay goes off. Very straightforward. And this is our momentary effect. Alright, so let's do a few more. We have that second jazz guitar sample. So for this one, I wanted to activate an effect on the hi-hat. How about a flanger? So I'll drag this flanger effect on the hi-hat cell and back on the second jazz guitar sample, click on map next to velocity and then click on the flanger. And now it's mapped. So when I tap that second jazz guitar sample, the flanger gets activated. I'll change up the settings on the flanger so it's a bit more obvious. So now when I let it go, we don't hear the flanger, but when I hold down that button, we hear the effect. Cool. Now another thing I want to do with that first jazz guitar sample is to alternate between these two snare sounds I have here. This is my second snare sound. It's a side stick sound. So when I hold down the first jazz guitar sample, I want to hear one of the two sounds. And when I let go, I want to hear the other. So back in the jazz guitar sample, let's load another velocity and map that to the chain activator on the first snare. I'll go back in and load another velocity and map that to the second chain selector. So now when I hold down on that jazz guitar sample, both the snares are heard and when I let go, both the chains get deactivated so we don't hear anything. To make this alternate, back in the expression control device, I'll swap out the minimum and maximum values. So now, we're hearing one snare sound when I'm holding down the pad. And when I let go or press sound on another pad, you hear a different snare sound. I actually want the inverse of this. So I'm going to set this to a range of 0 to 100 and this upper one to 100 to 0. So there you have it, momentary switches that you can create with any MIDI controller. 
and Ableton Live Suite.